All right, gang, let's dive right into it. Welcome to another edition of Webinar Wednesday. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. I am Jason there on the left, and we also have David joining us, the digital strategist here uh, from Brilliant Directories. And we also have Rick Martinez, one of the support specialists here at Brilliant Directories. Uh, you may have interacted with Rick via phone or email support. And also David is the mastermind and helpful assistant behind all the webinar Wednesdays, making them happen. So thank you so much, guys, for taking your time and joining us and helping us in today's webinar. Jason, happy to be here. Hello, everyone. Thanks again. Hi, everyone. Yeah, we've got a very uh, special, exciting new webinar here for you, and uh, hopefully you should be able to get a lot out of it. should be interesting. Awesome. Great to be with you guys here as well. And I always like to mention before we jump into the webinars, if you're not already a member of our Facebook group, I recommend joining. There are some great conversations in there to educate yourself and also ask questions on how to grow your online community. You can head on over if you want to do it right now. You can go to brilliantdirectories.com forward slash Facebook and just click on the join button to gain access to the group. And if we happen to miss your question here in today's webinar, it is a great place to continue the conversations there. So we look forward to seeing you there. And for those of you joining us for the first time, welcome. It really is great to be with you guys here today. Webinar Wednesday started uh, just over two years ago, I believe. We're almost up to 80 editions or, or sessions here. And it's a great place to talk about growing your online community. You know, it's really easy these days to launch a website uh, with different tools and solutions out there. But growing a community really does require some strategy. And some topics we like to cover in Webinar Wednesdays are things like how to increase your website traffic, converting visitors to members. One of my favorites is improving your website's navigation. I'm a big advocate for simple navigation, making it easy for the user to make decisions and take actions. In today's webinar, we have a really special guest and we're gonna be covering how to leverage social media, specifically Facebook groups, to help accelerate the growth of your Brilliant Directories website. And uh, yeah, we're really glad that you've taken the time to join us today. All right, as usual, before we dive into the tip of the week for this week's webinar, we do have some lab updates to share. We actually had even more updates than this list since the last webinar, but I had to hold some back just because there's no room on this slide. The development team here at Brilliant Directories has been doing a phenomenal job, and I want to thank you guys. You guys are the ones who provide us with suggestions and feedbacks on new things to add, new ways to improve the software, both through the support ticket system and in the Facebook group. Uh, so we try to, to take on as many ideas as possible, and we really thank you guys for contributing and making the software your own with your suggestions. I'll go through these relatively quickly. Some of them are pretty self-explanatory. At the top of the list, search verified members in the admin. I actually covered this one in a Facebook Live session that we did uh, last week, but I'll quickly show you what I'm referring to here. So if you head on over to the admin dashboard, we'll just start from square one here. Okay, great. So here you can go to search members, and as we know, there are various search filters for finding your members that are registered on your site. There is a new one here, searching the verified status of members. So as you know, you can manually choose to add an additional verification badge to members who provide you with whatever information you're asking them for, maybe a copy of their uh, license or uh, whatever industry you're in, and then you can add that extra designation for them to be certified and verified on your site. So now you can actually search which members are verified and which members are unverified members on your site. And I'll tell you why that's valuable, actually. When you search verified and unverified members, you can always export your member results, and then you can email that list. Maybe you want to encourage unverified members to provide the information on how they can get more visibility on your site by verifying themselves, their company, et cetera, et cetera. And this actually takes us into the second lab update. We now have three new bulk update actions for members. And this is really fun and exciting and super helpful, actually. Let me show you what I'm referring to there. So, you know, this is a sample demo site that we have. We've uploaded like 16,000 members here. And there are bulk actions here. We released this a few months ago, and it's added a wealth of flexibility to how you manage your members in the site. The three new bulk actions that we've added, first one, updating the top level category. So maybe you have a bunch of members um, 
in one category, but you no, no longer want to use that category, you can uh, choose to update the top level category of a bunch of members. You can change the membership level. It's called product here. So you can change the membership level. So maybe you want to bulk move a set of members uh, from like a basic to a premium level. Uh, this is a manual move, so they won't have to pay if it's a paid membership level. You're the admin just simply moving them. And then also the update the listing type. And this one is whether they're an individual or a company. So as you know, when your members join, they can choose if the listing, their public listing represents an individual. And in that case, it'll show their first and last name on the profile. Or if the listing represents a company like Coca-Cola, you know, the person managing the profile, we don't need to know their first and last name on the public side of the site. So that's why they would designate themselves as a company. So maybe you imported members and you need to make a bulk change or something like that. Um, now you can certainly do that with these additional uh, bulk actions. Now, I just want to see, does anyone have any questions about those bulk actions? Jason, we actually did have one question from Michelle about uh, member verification. She was asking if it was a legal requirement in the UK. It's not a legal requirement. It's kind of like how on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all those social platforms have verified profiles. It's kind of like that. If you want to verify certain members to kind of allow them to stand out against you know all of your other members in the community that's one way to go about doing that absolutely you know it's it's a member who's taken an extra step to engage with your website and for that you can reward them by manually giving them a designation of verified let's actually do that on a sample member here let's click on quick edit let's say that they emailed in what we were asking them for you can go to listing settings is this member verified Yes or no, so it's totally a manual process because you have to check what they sent you. And if we go look at the profile, we can now see they have this icon here, which uh, you can change, you just upload a new image. Um, and this is the verified badge that they have on their profile. So it's a way to decorate their profile. It's a way for you to engage your members, a way for your members to engage with you. And also for the visitors to kind of see, you know, as David said, uh, you know, who's, verified or authorized more on your website? Who's more trustworthy as a member? Is it the person who signed up for free and just put their name and phone number? Or is it this person who's added all this information and has gone the extra step to verify? I actually helped someone set up their Yelp account and Yelp has a similar designation, but you have to send your state business license or whatever it is directly to Yelp, a copy of it via email. Uh, and then after they verify it, they'll give you this a similar designation. So it's pretty common for websites and directories uh, that feature professionals and companies to have something like this. And Colette has a question here. Hey, Colette, how are you today? Hi, Jason. Good and you? Good, good. Thank you. What's your question for us today? A simple question. If you click the box at the top to uh, tick all the list, does that just lie that bulk update to everybody on that page or everybody in the whole database? I love that you asked that question. So let's say you do a search. Let's say we did a search here and there were 16,000 results. You could click this box here and it will select, I think it's 25 or 50 on this page. You'll see this module show up here, select all 16,000 results. So that will go. Uh, awesome. That will go beyond just the page, the first page of these records here. You could then select everyone who's included in this search that you performed and then also do that bulk action to apply that to all the records. So you don't have to go page by page here. Fantastic. Thank you. Good question there. You're welcome. All right, let's go down the list here. Let me skip down to number four since it's related in the same section. Now you also have the ability, and I love this one, to sort your members based on the most and least revenue a member has paid on your site. Uh, let me show you how that works while we're still here. What you can do is when you do a search for members, um, you can choose how you wanna view those members. There's a sort order here. Now these are the two new ones, most revenue and least revenue. And this is a test site. We've done some test payment transactions on here. Okay, so we see all our members here and we can see this test member has paid a total of 6,600 to the site, this one 1,500, 600. So if you just want to get a snapshot of kind of who's, you know, paid what so far on your site, you can obviously put more filters on here like based on membership level and things like that. 
Um, one, it's kind of fun to see the activity as far as the revenue your site has done, but it also gives you an indicator of which members may uh, warrant or, or uh, you want to give extra attention to because they are high value uh, members. They've invested in your site and you want to reciprocate back to them with good quality service uh, and see if there's anything you can do to continue that good relationship that you have with them. So um, that's a really nice sort and filter option there as well. All right, so this one, let's go back to the third bullet here, title colors for streaming homepage sections. Also covered this in the Facebook Live we did last week. Let me just show you uh, what we're referring to. It's a little easier to show you rather than try to explain it. So let's go to the homepage of this site. And as everyone knows, one of my favorite things, it's easy to stream different modules on your homepage. A few weeks ago, we created the ability to add a background color to your section. So let's go ahead and do that here. You go to design settings and we'll do it for the newest members background. Homepage layout. And if you go to homepage section order, these are the different sections you've designated on your site. So here's the one section four for show recent members. If you check this box, you can designate a background color. And let's go ahead and save this. So this update was, was fine, it was good, but there was one flaw, again, thanks to your recommendations, Colette's especially, who was just uh, chatting. The problem was the title wouldn't change. You would be stuck with this background color. And I love the background color. It could be orange, red, pink, but you weren't able to change the title color, um, which was a small limitation, but now you can. And let me show you where you can change the title color. So um, same place, homepage layout. Let me close the homepage section order module. Just toggle that up. You want to go to the next module here, section order options, because one of the options are the titles. So we have recent members and we have our title here, newest members. And here you can change the title color. So for something like that dark blue, a white would be more appropriate. So let's go ahead and save that. And if we come back and refresh the page, we now have a smarter and better contrast for the dark blue with the white font there. So this is a great way to break up your page if you're streaming a lot of content or just a few pieces. If you want to highlight maybe a more important section like meet our newest members or maybe it's coupons or events, but this background color helps break it up and rather than just seeing you know white, white, white uh, or whatever you're using as your background color helps break up the page just a bit more. All right, um, small update here, looking down here, number five, post-publishing, new UI. Uh, again, better I show you than explain. If you go to finance and membership levels, you can see all your membership level information here. Now under post-publishing, before we only showed the what the member can post, but if you have the members only add-on, now you can also see uh, what they can view, what they have the privilege of viewing. So you can see not only what privileges they have of content to post, you can also see what they can view as well, which comes in handy. You just want to compare your membership level side by side. You can make sure that you know your premium members have more access than uh, some of your basic members. So just visually, it's a little bit uh, easier and it's nice and tidy there as well. All right, almost a home stretch here. With the private member chat add-on, uh, which allows members to have continuous chatting back and forth with each other, it's a little bit different than the lead matching. It's just with lead matching, the member gets a lead and then it's on them to call or email or contact the person who submitted the lead. With the private member chat, it does allow for continuous back and forth conversations directly through your website. Small update here, now it supports emojis. Uh, let me show you what that looks like. So if they happen to be chatting from their phones, they can certainly include emojis into the messages. Uh, before these were showing up as you know random characters, it wasn't really translating properly, but whether this was a bug or a new feature enhancement, uh, now the member chats do support emojis, uh, which makes it a little bit more fun when your users are probably responding to each other from their phones. All right, and shout out to uh, Mr. Matthew Brooks here who's on the webinar. Failed paid sign-up notifications. So again, better I show you than, than try to explain. Let's say you have, let's say you have a paid sign-up page, uh, such as this one, and somebody fills in all their information, and they they don't put valid credit card information, or for some reason their credit card fails. Um, prior to this update, what would happen is it would create a member record in your search members area the member would be set as inactive 
And for the failed payment, the credit card, it would create like a pass due invoice for them. So they wouldn't sign up again. They would log into their inactive account and then pay the pass due invoice. And actually, this worked very well. Um, I'd say probably about up until six months ago, a year ago, but we've done such comprehensive updates to the billing system that it just, that logic no longer um, makes real sense to do. So now what we've done is something better and it's available to everyone is when somebody tries to pay and the payment fails, you as the website owner definitely want to know that because maybe maybe it's a legitimate person who is not filling out the form correctly or they keep inputting a bad credit card. But what happens now is two things. One, the website admin um, that you've defined in your general settings, the email address there, will get a failed sign-up notification, paid sign-up, and it'll include all the information that was entered on that paid page, the reason the card was declined, et cetera, et cetera. Now, you might get some that are just people playing around and it's, none of it is real information. They put ABCD for their email address, but some of them might be legitimate email addresses and the information might be there. You might wanna take a proactive approach to contacting that person. Maybe you can find their phone number somewhere. Uh, maybe they're in another community you manage, like a Facebook group, and you can reach out to them to take them to the finish line and get them signed up to your site. So you get the email notification as the admin. In addition to that, if you go to your activity tracker in the admin under dashboard and you filter by finance, you are going to, it's, it's a little clunky here, but in this first iteration, we wanted to get this out there to you guys as quickly as possible. But the same information that you see in that email, uh, you're gonna see here in your activity tracker, just toggle the finance checkbox and you can see um, all the pertinent information that was entered on that sign up page. And then uh, you can, again, you can choose to ignore it if you want and do nothing, um, or you can move forward with uh, following up with this person. So this should help. This is like a way of, of uh, identifying abandoned shopping carts like they have on e-commerce sites. So this is abandoned member signups or failed member signups. It gives you an extra ace in your pocket to follow up uh, with these people here. So, um, Really amazing update there. I'm excited about that one myself. Uh, just empowers you, the website owner, with so much more information there. So those are just some of the BD Lab updates. I also wanted to mention, if you wanted to stay in touch with all of our updates, you can head on over to our blog, brilliantdirectories.com forward slash blog. The link is always there in the top right corner. And if you scroll down, uh, you can find amazing articles and you can always find our monthly change log here. There's also a quick link in the sidebar. You can just click on monthly change log and you can see all the changes we've made uh, each month. This is the one from last November. Um, usually we're netting about 100 updates, fixes, new releases and things like that. And it's a great way to uh, you know, keep in touch with uh, what's cooking here at Brilliant Directories. I'll share this link in the chat. Great stuff there. And we have a really, really uh, important and valuable tip of the week this week. And I know, David, you've been chatting with Corey all week regarding this presentation. And Corey is also a member of the Facebook group. So can you tell us a little bit about this week's tip of the week, please? Yeah, this should be extremely helpful to a lot of you out there. Corey put together this great presentation about how he went from zero to five figures fast using Facebook groups and brilliant directories. As Jason mentioned, Corey's a, a big part of the Facebook group. Uh, I'm sure many of you have interacted with him a number of times on there. He's posted some really helpful videos kind of explaining his strategies for generating revenue with his BD site. So a little bit about Corey. He's the founder of the Facebook group Accelerator, where he goes into a little bit more detail helping individuals about how to generate revenue with their Facebook groups. And he created the Chattanooga, Tennessee business directory, uh, which is his BD site, csbnconnect.com. And he was able to leverage his Facebook group. Now, it's a big Facebook group. He's been kind of cultivating it for, uh, I think it was about a year now. Uh, he's got almost 12,000 members in there. And he started to use that Facebook group to drive traffic over to his business directory, csbnconnect.com. And through that, in just 90 days, he was able to generate $11,000 on his site. And uh, right now he mentioned that he's approaching about $3,000 per month recurring revenue from those membership plans. So Corey, if you wanna take it away, give us a little bit more detail about yourself, your past, 
how your website and your Facebook group have been working out and uh, any tips that you could give our viewers out there. Absolutely. And thanks so much, David and Jason. I appreciate it. Um, I'm very happy to be here. Um, I started the group about 12 months ago and uh, from a tip from my mentor and he said, Hey, you know, have you started your own Facebook group to generate leads? And I said, no, he's like, well, you should do that. So um, very quickly I started, um, I built a, a nice little group and started getting in friends and, and, uh, and then it kind of took off and I'm proud to say we've got about 12,000 members and uh, we've also generated around $4 million in exchanged revenue between members. Almost think of it like a, an Angie's list or a, like a chamber of commerce or a, um, like a BNI type of environment. What I really loved about your story here is, you know, in this case, you had a community, uh, you had your Facebook group, but with brilliant directories, you were able to uh, find a method to, to monetize from that group and provide value and service from them without having to meet in person and doing everything virtually. Absolutely. Most of these people I've never even met, but uh, everywhere I go, people seem to know who I am like a local celebrity. It's kind of cool. So I'm very proud and grateful that, so we'll get started. So that's me on the left with my son. Uh, run uh, Also, in addition to the group, I run weekly network functions, attracting anywhere from 80 to 100 members every single week. Uh, and that's uh, me on the right. You can see my big head there in the middle. Uh, we have a lot of fun with those. So uh, a little bit about me. I own a digital marketing agency as well. But uh, in under 12 months, I've um, attracted in 12,000 local business owners and professionals into our community. Chattanooga, Tennessee, here in the United States, has got about 180,000 people in the population. And, our group's done right at four million in exchanged revenue. I keep a running spreadsheet between members when they say, "Hey, I, you know, I made thirty thousand dollars the other day." So I add that to the list and I have a running sheet there. So that's all, of course, documented. Uh, I have not spent a dime on paid advertisements to grow the Facebook group. It's just word of mouth, and really, that's it. And I do the occasional giveaway and stuff like that. But um, so this group, Chattanooga Small Business Networking or CSBN, is uh, it's kind of like an online marketplace for residents and business owners to basically exchange leads and referrals. So it's the stay at home mom that says, hey, listen, I need a plumber. And our group can provide that um, very quickly. Uh, we've been listed in over 12 different publications and I'm also gonna be speaking at uh, Joe Soto's Mastermind Weekend. He's, he's part of Ty Lopez's SMMA course there in Los Angeles and he's one of his lead trainers. And so I'm very privileged to be able to go around and, and teach this and, and, and help people learn a little bit more. That, that right here is just a, a quick screenshot of the Facebook group itself. As you can see, and we're, I'm actually looking at my phone here not a few minutes ago and uh, about two members shy of the 12,000 marks. I'm very happy about that. Before I get started, a little bonus tip is that banner there you can make in Canva and uh, you can, you, you, you're basically, you're telling people, hey, register your business out on our directory and it's free and there's an arrow and take full advantage of that banner. You can make that in under about two minutes using Canva. So just a little information about us. We've done about 11,000 in the first 90 days. Um, just as a disclaimer, I've, I've never done any web development or design. I've never built a website aside from just a quick little WordPress blog. And all of this income has originated from the Facebook group. Okay. So uh, I'm not running ads or anything like that. I make about $3,000 a month recurring from the Brilliant Directory site that I have from our $100 a month plans. And we've got about 710 members uh, as of today. So 11,000 a little bit. So just, just some reasons why Facebook groups work. So as the administrator of your own Facebook group, you're basically like the Wizard of Oz. You're, you're kind of the person behind the curtain. You can kind of control and, 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 and sculpt the, the post in such a way where not just anybody can, can post, right? There's some, there's some strategy behind that. In my case, I wanted to create my own virtual kind of a lead generation group, or, or in this case, a networking group that allows you, allows, basically the idea is to give tremendous value first in the group as the administrator, and then members will begin to follow you and organically join and invite their friends because they think it's just so cool. Uh, recent uh, studies have said, uh, stated that Facebook is starting to move away from the traditional news feed. And they have, they've recently uh, let go their news feed director at Facebook headquarters and they're not filling, refilling that position. So they're really looking more and more to uh, in, uh, Facebook stories and groups in 2020. So you're going to see a lot more with groups. I think now's a really hot time to get in that. Again, as I've stated there, uh, Facebook groups allow you creative control over what content to allow to your main wall and you become the trusted authority in your industry. It's also free. <laughs> They're free to create. You, uh, Facebook's not going to charge you to create your own group or run it. Um, and you can kind of basically put whatever content you want within that, within that ecosystem, if that makes sense.
So there may be some members here that say, listen, I don't want to do business, uh, any type of referral based director. Maybe I'm a yoga instructor and I want to help in that area. Well, Facebook groups will work for you too. Okay. So whether yoga trainer, uh, handyman, maybe your um, fitness and nutrition coach, there is a group for you and you can create your group around your own theme. So don't, don't worry about it. Hey, listen, I, I don't want to do the, the referral. So that's perfectly fine. It's okay. Now to create a successful group and to attract members, this is a huge, it's kind of a secret sauce to all of this, right? Is you need to provide tremendous free value first to your members, give away all of your free content, all the juicy stuff, all the good stuff that you have. Everyone in this call is a professional at what they do. You're an expert at what you do, which means you probably got hours and hours of great content that would, you could you know, provide to your members. To do that, you can do examples, could include um, doing video trainings, you can create memes, inspirational graphics and posters, you can do mini trainings, you can do a free ebook or guide or a checklist, or you can just do a giveaway. I gave away an iPad last week and we got over 800 new members in the group. And uh, it, I mean, that was awesome, 300 bucks, but we got 800 members, so it was really cool. Now, once the trust is established in your group and they see your name all the time, People will begin trusting you and they'll know, like, and trust you. And they'll be glad to do what you ask. As long as you're ethical and professional, they will, they, they will love to get involved. Right. And that's where brilliant directory is going to play. So here is a, this slides, basically seven quick tips to setting your Facebook group up the right way. Cause you may say, listen, I don't know anything about Facebook. I don't know how to set up a group. No problem. Okay. So first major tip is make your group private. Okay. And you also make it available to be searched for to the public. So you're not just closing it off. You make it private so that not just anybody can just randomly join and start posting a bunch of stuff, right? You have to control that aspect of it. Tip two is do you want to pre-approve all new members and all new posts? So again, you're really screening members to make sure they're local to your city or there's some criteria based on their little Facebook profile. You get to kind of look them over before you hit the okay button. And it kind of get you again, you just want to be kind of picky about who you allow in your group. Tip three, create three to four pieces of content daily, video trainings, memes, ask a lot of questions. You may say, listen, I don't have that kind of time. I don't, I, there's no way I can do that. I get it. Believe me, as a single father, I, I totally get it. But I think everybody's probably got one hour a week that they can carve out the slow Sunday afternoon, uh, create, take your iPhone, do some trainings, share your desktop, uh, create memes, anything. Number four, network with others by tagging people who you believe will help. If someone says, hey, listen, I, I really need to connect with a yoga instructor in Los Angeles. Okay, well, no problem. And then you start tagging a couple of yoga instructors that you know that live in, in uh, Los Angeles as an example. And that, that virtual tag, that virtual handshake is tremendous value to not only the person seeking the connection, but the uh, referral source as well. So uh, very, very powerful. Be genuine, you know, be real, connect with your members be a real human being. Um, try not to look at it as, man, I hope they join my brilliant directories and I want to make money off this. Try not to look at it like that. Try to look at it as this, these are friends of yours and, and you, you really want to have a good connection. Try not to be boring or lame. Be real, be yourself. Um, when you're creating content, this is something I've learned uh, from several of my mentors. When I share content to my wall, I myself have to look at first, look at the content and say, hey, is this something that it's, it's really funny to me or informative to me and I actually genuinely like it? Don't just share random memes and say, hey, what do you think? And hopefully you get likes out of it. Try not to look at it that way, okay? That was a huge game changer, that number six for me. Uh, number seven, create a great Facebook banner with some instructions. Maybe it's join your Brilliant Directory site, or maybe it's a, a, a link to some sort of video uh, where you have some video downloads or some free training. And then also create the name needs to make sense. Okay, so in my group, it's Chattanooga Small Business Networking that makes sense, right? That when you, when someone hears that, okay, that makes sense, but you don't want to be vague and don't be nebulous. Okay. This is kind of off topic just a, just a second, but it, it's, um, this has been really, really instrumental in my success. I believe is when I create content to my Facebook group wall or I share content or trainings, I also go and add, I've added a button on the homepage of my brilliant directory site it's called free video training. And I uh, take the YouTube uh, link and add it there. And I write a nice compelling description about what it is. And so when you're syndicating content, you're creating content first to your group, and then you're also gonna drop it over to YouTube or upload it to YouTube and share it there as well. So <clears throat> you can also run traffic ads through Facebook to that link. So there's just a little bonus tip. Corey, can you can you show us on your site yeah. that section? And and I also had a 
question. Sorry to throw you off your presentation there. And I also had a follow-up question. Are you making all these YouTube videos or are you finding videos on YouTube that would be useful for your community and publishing them on your site with custom descriptions? That's a great question. The No, the, all of this is my content. Okay. Uh, if So the I've done digital marketing for beginners. Craigslist use Craigslist for sales. Use the Workflowy app, uh, Facebook Graph Search, LinkedIn. You know, again, hours and hours. How to how to use Click Funnels to make your own website. And um, okay. Yeah. So your your expertise is in marketing, and the, the videos you have on your site are how small businesses can do better at their own marketing. Let's say someone's expertise isn't marketing. What's what's something else? Another. Uh, membership community owner can post if it's not necessarily marketing tips such as these? Yeah, that's a great question. If, uh, you know, I used the kind of the yoga instructor tip earlier. Um, you could pick up a $20 cheap tripod at uh, Target or Walmart, your local uh, store, or even off Amazon, and uh, attach your iPhone to it and do, you know, three quick tips to energizing yourself in the morning or something like that, okay? And do a three minute little video and then upload the video to YouTube, share the YouTube video here. So now you're creating this, this really great content that people actually want to see. You're not pitching them with the, the video. You're just giving all of your juicy, good stuff to people for free. Okay. So whatever you can find inside yourself that you can provide real value from the knowledge you have as, a, as the community manager or owner, that's the kind of stuff you want to share with the community. Absolutely. And um, another, another bonus tip here too, um, I, I think a lot of, you know, I followed, the, of course, your, your Facebook group, um, the Brilliant Director here, which is great, by the way. But I think a lot of people really get kind of hung up on, man, you know, I've got to add all these extra functions and all this stuff. I built this site in 15 minutes and I'm now up to three grand a month and I have not done anything special to this site. To I just want to illustrate that, you know, the guys at Brilliant Director has developed a wonderful platform out of, out of the box and there's really no need to reinvent the wheel. That's my own personal opinion, of course, but that's my personal experience has been um, just keep it simple and uh, it's lightweight, page loads quick. Um, and yeah, so that's what it looks like. CSBNConnect.com on that. Any, any other questions on the page? No, I, th I think that's great. It's just doing what you know best and sharing that value yeah. with the community. It adds authenticity. It's yeah. something they can't find anywhere else. And maybe it's not videos. Maybe it's an article or maybe it, maybe you are curating content that already exists around the internet. I'm just thinking and you're sure. just bringing it into one place and making it easy for your people to find. Yeah, I, I think it's yeah. really nice there that the key here is providing content that adds value first. Exactly. And you could send all of the traffic just to this one link. You could run paid Facebook ads or SEO and target this one link kind of getting off topic here, but I'm just saying once they get here, they're consuming this free content. They're like, well, what else is on this site? And there they can log in and create their own free listing. So it's kind of cool. Here are just five quick ways to grow your Facebook group. The big thing that I see with um, people when they run their own Facebook group, it's like, okay, I've got this great idea and I've got all the settings right and the security is good, but how do I, how do I actually get members? How do I grow it? And that's a, that's a the perfect question to be asking. And so here are five quick ways. Um, first one, share your Facebook group to your personal Facebook page and your business page as well. If you have a business on Facebook and then when on your business page that you can right click on it, pin that pin your group um, introductory post to the wall. So it's always up there. And then just be real with people say, listen, I'm, I've got this great um, group that I'm looking to grow. Um, it's a business directory group. I would love to have you in it. If you're a local business owner in Chattanooga or you, you're a fitness instructor or whatever, whatever group you have, just be genuine, be real. Don't solicit, don't hard pitch or anything like that. And I think people appreciate it. Tip two, Depending on wherever you live in, in the world, there's probably some sort of form of uh, a local business chamber, BNI, LATIP, or anything like that. Join those groups. They're, they're not that expensive, and you're going to meet some very powerful, connected people and get them in your group and then encourage them to add their friends. And now you've got hundreds of really powerful people in, in your own ecosystem, and it just compounds very quickly. Tip three, um, bottom left-hand corner there, create a graphic out of Canva. Use the 800 by 800 pixels. And, and then just and have a little fun, little um, attractive little graphic that says, hey, join our group and then share it to your LinkedIn and Instagram. Uh, top right hand corner, add lots of people into your Facebook group who would want to be there. So say your average person has 300 friends on Facebook on average. There's probably going to be at least 50, 75 people on there that would be more than likely interested in, in your group. Go ahead and add them. Again, don't don't do it to people who wouldn't want to be there. Go ahead and invite them in your group and they're going to get a prompt yes or no through that. They hit yes, that's going to up your count, which is going to help you get that compound traction a little bit. Bottom right-hand corner, do a giveaway. 
giveaways are hot, but you have to, you can't do giveaways too soon. Okay. That's a big takeaway. I'm going to say that again. You can't do a giveaway too soon. You have to get the group hot and prime and, and probably, I don't know, three, 400 members in it before you start giving away iPads and that type of thing. This is just a quick vision. We have probably some visual learners. This is just a visual thing here. Um, it's kind of a recap. Invite your most connected friends. Do a giveaway. Remind people to invite their friends uh, and ask a lot of questions to your group. I think we kind of briefly went over this already, but there's some more bonus tips how to, how to actually get more members. So usually at the 500 member mark in your group or more, it's a lot easier to get um, their friends to join, friends of friends, and word of mouth. It's just easy. They kind of join on their own. You don't have to really go out and hunt people down. It just does. I never do that anymore. I did when I first got started for the first month or so, my first couple of weeks. But just kind of as a disclaimer, none of this is not an overnight thing. This does take time. This is not for everybody. You know, it does take quite a bit of my time every day to manage posts approve members, interact with members, tag members. I mean, I spend quite a bit of my day, I'm gonna be honest with you. And, uh, but I enjoy it, I love it. And it's fun, you know, it's just a lot of fun. And now as an example, think of yourself as a farmer, you're not gonna go dig up the earth and plant the seed. And then the next morning you come out and there's the fruit of the vegetables ready to go, right? It takes time, and but it will come. Uh, trade shows are really cool. You know, spend a hundred bucks and get a, get a little table, get a little sign built with your brilliant director URL. And then have it attached to your URL and your business cards, your email signatures, all that type. There's tons of little ways to get hold of your brilliant directory site, or in this case, your Facebook group URL. Email blasts are good. If you have an email list of any kind, MailChimp or whatever you have, or even inside of brilliant directories, uh, which, by the way, phenomenal, by the way, the, the, the newsletter component. It's very, very easy to use. And uh, do a giveaway inside of the, the, the email blast. Say, hey, listen, we'd love to grow. We're going to give away a Starbucks gift card. Okay. Last tip on this page. Do a Facebook Live and, and make it kind of cool in, in group. Say we're looking to grow our group. By the way, here's some cool value. Um, if you know anybody looking, you know, add them. So this next one's really cool. I love this part. Recently, I, I was reading the, the, the Ray Kroc book, the founder of McDonald's. And the whole point of the book idea here, this number one, is I read, I read a book that I like. And then what I'll do is I ask a random question from the book in the group. And I'll say, I'll pull them. I'll say in this case, what city or what town was the first McDonald's in, in in California? And that's where it was founded in. And people start debating and and the first first person who um, answers correctly gets a free book. Okay. Speed networking. I'm not gonna get too deep into that, but it's a really neat way to get people back and forth to build rapport. Ask lots of questions like how did your business get started? Do you like to shop locally or on Amazon? Share a helpful app or website and then give away um, a, a gift card to somebody who shares a really cool new app. Share content, polls, and memes. You get the idea on that. Here's just some examples of the Facebook group content, right? Motivational posters, and I, these two on the right. I've got hundreds and hundreds of people just like they're arguing back and forth. Well, which one is it? You know, as I mentioned before, I do giveaways. I gave away a $59 GoPro camera, and uh, it wasn't a GoPro, it was actually a knockoff camera. It's a great camera. And uh, I just said, hey, listen, invite your friends to the group, and the person with the most invitations will win this $59 camera. And uh, they just went nuts over this thing. They just thought it was the coolest thing ever. There's a free website called useloom.com. You can screen record your desktop. If, if whatever industry you're in, you're an expert, I'm sure. Share, open up your own little PowerPoint, put some tips and tricks, and then do use Loom and do like a little training session and then share that URL to your group. Again, uh, that's just additional training. This, I'm not going to get too much in this, but I just wanted to bring this up. Maybe, maybe you're a sales professional and you want to get more appointments. You can use the system that I talk about in my course, the Facebook group accelerator. It's a round table sales method where basically you're asking people to introduce themselves and then you're asking them to tell you who they want to meet. Okay. And then you can connect it. So it could be, Hey, I'm John and I sell POS services and I want to connect with a dentist. Well, I know a couple of dentists. So you can, you know, again, tag those people together. Then you can set up a three-way meeting inside of Messenger and take it offline. Switching gears just a little bit, um, this is just a kind of an overlay of or overview of my um, paid memberships. Again, I did not go off topic with this. I kept the defaults for the most part, free, standard, and preferred. I push preferred really heavy for direct outreach, email shoutouts, and newsletters. Um, it's 100 bucks a month. It's all pretty standard. If you look at the last bullet point here, the notification of new leads, so that's a cool little system I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with. Um, for the time being, it's really working well for me. So say Donnie the plumber joins as a preferred vendor. He pays me 100 bucks a month, month to month, or you can do annual, it's fine. What happens inside of the Facebook group is if Sarah wants a plumber and she's like, hey, I need a plumber, okay? Well, before 
that post hits our Facebook group wall, I am notified in advance. I can have, have the OK button. Before I hit the OK button, it gives me a running head start to contact Donnie, the plumber. Say, Donnie, Sarah here is looking for a plumber. And I know you're a plumber. And I'm going to let you, I'm going to give you that peripheral treatment. I'm going to give you that heads up so you can, when that post hits that wall and goes live, you're Johnny on the spot with it. You're going to take advantage of it. You're going to reach out to her and make the connection, book the appointment, make the money. Okay. And that's right there is just kind of the summary of, of what I'm, what I'm talking about. So this, this is what it looks like. So Luke, he's a painter. And I said, look, um, we just got a painting lead. I tagged you and he says, sorry, thank you. He said, I sent her a message. And then just this past week, he said, Hey, I've done over hundred grand in estimates. 60 came from your CSBN group. Later, he told me about made it, he netted about 30 grand. So he made $30,000 in one week and he pays me hundred bucks a month. So, and I was very excited with that, as you can see. Um, one of the final slides here is, is just an additional bonus tip. Um, this interaction with Luke, um, I, turned in, I turned that interaction into a email newsletter inside of Brilliant Directories. And I just said, hey, he's made, he's made all this money. He, you know, he just signed up and he's already made his money back. You know, he's made $30,000. It's basically 30 years worth of Brilliant Directory subscription. So he was, uh, he loved it. You should join too. And if you're interested, click the big green button in the dashboard and upgrade your membership from free to the 100 plan. Very, very cool. So just to kind of wrap up, I do, I do help professionals looking to grow with this system. I've developed an online training program. It's an eight week online course to teach you everything you need to know about Facebook groups. Over 40 training lessons. I do a monthly Facebook live. And there's also hours of bonus content, including I'm actually teaching you everything I've learned about Brilliant Directories and, and the systematic way that I have. That's a quick screenshot of kind of what it looks like. It's pretty interesting. I've got kind of whiteboard and also over the shoulder kind of taking you step by step. If you're interested, just for our friends, for you guys today, I'm also going to give you a free guide, the six must have apps that every Facebook group administrator needs. Just go to Facebook or fbgroupaccelerator.com slash special. There's a big green button at the top. Click on that. Download your ebook. Check it out. The course you're interested. Uh, either way, I'm glad to be here. Um, I'm gonna. I think I'm wrapping up here. Anybody have any questions? Yeah, Corey, that was that was a phenomenal uh, presentation. I I learned a ton uh, there myself. Corey mentioned he has uh, an ebook guide for uh, any Facebook group uh, manager owner. Let me show you guys where that is. Uh, it's Facebook group accelerator forward slash special in the top right hand corner here. This is a checkout page, but in the top right corner here of the page, you can click here to download the free guide for the six apps. Every admin of a Facebook group should have, and you just click on that link and you get direct access uh, to the PDF. Um, and he explains the best, best practices and best methods for utilizing uh, these uh, must have apps. So I really recommend everyone just click to that page and then click this green button up here to get access to that. It's really useful information. All right, Corey, don't see any uh, direct questions uh, coming in from people with their hands raised, but uh, I, I think that was phenomenal. Thank you for taking the time uh, to join us today. If you guys do have questions after the webinar, feel free to, to ask in the Facebook group. Uh, you can at Corey Barnes and uh, just to tag him in the message. If you have a question about Facebook groups or um, how to take advantage of his program, um, or if you're just wondering how to get started, because sure, Facebook makes it easy to uh, set up a group. But I think one thing you mentioned, Corey, that stuck with me the most is in the beginning stages, you were really social to get people to your social group on Facebook. Uh, you were making a lot of waves and a lot of splashes. You were using really strong actions to reach out to people um, who may potentially be good members of your group. And it seems like it's paid off in spades. So. Um, I think one important thing about social media is if you really want it to work for you, authenticity is key, but also spend time being social with your members and potential members that you want to eventually inter interact with. All right. Thank you so much, Corey, for such an amazing presentation. Um, also, thank you, David and uh, Rick, for helping in the webinar. If you haven't already done so, please join us at brilliantdirectories.com forward slash Facebook, and we would love to continue the conversations there. So on behalf of myself and the entire Brilliant Directories family, have a great day and a brilliant week. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.